Crime rates are increasing worldwide. And when we hear about the crime, we experience some sort of remorse and continue with our busy lives. Can you relate to that? Well, seeking news updates and staying informed about world events is a common habit. We discuss these incidents with others and often express disbelief, saying things like, can you believe it? Well, yeah, I can believe it. Why? Because it's been a part of my life. I've been one of those that has been hated on or felt remorseful. I'm that person people want to talk about and they may still do. They say crime is a choice. Well, I can't entirely agree with that. And I'll tell you why. Because no one is born a criminal. There are complex forces playing in their lives or in the life of others. Don't get me wrong. I'm not supporting crime or criminals. Rather, I want them and others around them to understand a criminal, to understand crime and what it takes to become a criminal with the hope that when they understand themselves more clearer and others around them understand that too, it may be a possibility for positive change. So today we are identifying one of the underlying causes and preconditions of crime. And this can help in crime reduction and prevention. So let's begin. Did you know that there's a strong link between social economics and criminal behavior? It's true. This is often measured as a combination of education, income and occupation. Studies have consistently shown that individuals from lower socioeconomic backgrounds are more likely to engage in criminal activities. So why does this connection exist? Well, it all comes down to a complex interplay of factors. And one of the main contributors is the need for more access to education and job opportunities. You might disagree because everyone in the UK and many other countries have access to education and job opportunities. But how many stick to that education and their jobs? When individuals don't have access to quality education or struggle to find employment, they are more likely to turn to illegal activities to survive. So number one, education is a must. Age doesn't matter. And number two, a job is crucial to survive, to fulfill financial needs. Most of the time, people struggle in a job and in most of these jobs are youngsters. And that is due to a lack of education. Youngsters are in that job due to lack of experience or running it along with their education with the wish for a better future job. Many don't even get educated, but they stay in that job for years to progress into a better role in the future through experience. But if you stick to a job for a short time and have low education, you come under a lower socioeconomic status, low education and low income, or maybe none. Are you still with me? Okay, let's move on. Socioeconomic factors shape our environment, opportunities and choices, affecting our actions in ways we might not even realize. Stress is present in all levels of society, although for different reasons, and the poor stress over providing for their families, while the rich stress over maintaining their wealth. It is tempting for some to resort to crime as a means to obtain financial security, leading to illegal activities that can further accelerate stress, leading to drug abuse and mental health issues. Poverty can also play a significant role in criminal behavior as growing up in disadvantaged conditions can have a long-term effects on cognitive and emotional development, influencing decision-making and impulsive control. Access to quality education and opportunities is crucial in combating criminal behavior and creating a more inclusive and just society. Now, research has shown that living in poverty can lead to chronic stress hindering brain development, particularly in areas responsible for self-regulation and reasoning. 
but it's not just about financial struggles. Other factors such as neighborhood conditions and social networks also play a significant role. Living in areas with high crime rates and limited resources can make breaking free from the cycle of criminal behavior difficult. Additionally, individuals surrounded by peers engaged in illegal activities are more likely to be influenced and participate in similar behavior. Studies indicate that higher education and skill building programs can significantly reduce the likelihood of engaging in these criminal activities. Empowering individuals with knowledge and skills fosters a sense of purpose and opens doors to a brighter future. Understanding criminal behavior requires a holistic approach that considers socio-economic factors. By addressing socio-economic inequality, poverty and investing in education, we can create a society that promotes positive outcomes for everyone. It's important to recognize that these colorations don't imply the cause. Not all individuals from low socioeconomic backgrounds will become criminals, and not all criminals come from disadvantaged backgrounds. By understanding the link between socioeconomics and criminal behavior can guide us towards effective interventions and policies. To gain a deeper understanding of criminal behavior and its underlying causes, I recommend the book, The New Jim Crow, Mass Incarnation in the Age of Color Blindness by Michelle Alexander. This enlightening book sheds light on systematic issues like socioeconomic disparities and racial inequality contributing to the criminal behavior, encouraging readers to advocate for change and support, initiatives to promote education and employment opportunities. As a call to action, seek education programs and skill building opportunities to lift up from a disadvantaged background. Additionally, let's work towards creating safe and supportive communities where positive influences and opportunities for growth surround individuals.